We have been featuring longtime local businesses here on KHON2, sharing their history and how they're trying to survive this pandemic. Well, for a nearly 100-year-old Japanese tea house, COVID-19 has just been brutal. Natsunoya Tea House is tonight's hardworking Hawaii. Nestled on the hillside of Aleva Heights is the last remaining Japanese tea house in Hawaii. The Japanese people needed a place to gather. They used to come to the tea house where they can um, be, feel comfortable yeah? and, and eat uh, something that's fam familiar to them. Its history goes way back, nearly 100 years. Lawrence Fujiwara's grandfather opened Natsunoya Tea House in 1921. He was on his way back to Japan, but he, and he stopped in Hawaii, and uh, he fell in love with Hawaii, so he tried the, the tea house route. Natsunoya Tea House became a gathering place for celebrities, dignitaries, and locals. The big property made for an exciting childhood for the now third generation owner. And this place, you know, when you're a small kid, it's, it's like, a, it's big. So, you know, we climb the trees, play hide and seek. As Lawrence grew older, so did the business. But the Fujiwara family made sure to preserve the Natsunoya traditions. The waitress is dressed in kimono. We do serve, uh, you know, our, our Japanese, uh, local Japanese style food. Over the years, Natsunoya became known for its private rooms, seven of them. In fact, events and catering account for 90% of its business. But because of the pandemic, these rooms are empty. When you think about it, we're a banquet facility where we want people to gather. And you can't gather, so yeah, it's been tough. It's been rough. The tea house has tried to shift gears completely, offering takeout for the first time. Today we had crispy ginger chicken, um, that's a hot seller. You know, we have hamburger steak. But takeout hasn't been easy. Kim Fujiwara says they can't replace the revenue they were once getting. It is a definite um, an option that, you know, maybe we just need to shut down the, and then until things open up again. But that would be like our last, like our last resort. For now, the Fujiwaras hope more people will take a drive up the hill to see the stunning views of Oahu and enjoy some delicious Japanese food too. You have to have, I think, I'm going to go to the tea house in your mind because you can't just drive by and, you know, you're like, we're not like in a shopping area on a main strip. You have to drive up a level heights. So we're very, very thankful that they still have us in mind.